What's up, y'all? Precise back with another video, bro. And I'm here to tell y'all, Damian Lillard is the second best point guard in the NBA. And I know y'all think that's not a shocker, but the last few years, bro, y'all been playing on Dame name. Mostly, I see him in certain point guard lists as like the fifth or sixth best point guard. Usually, it's like Curry, uh, Wall, Westbrook, Kyrie. Guys like that. Some people put Isaiah Thomas one year, Kyle Lowry, stuff like that. Even put Chris Paul or James Harden. But I feel like in this new, new age NBA, Damian Lillard does everything you want in a point guard. He runs the pick and roll well. His defense is solid, uh, especially consider his size. He shoots from any range, so he can't really be guarded or game plan for, like Russell Westbrook, like John Wall. You can really play and strive anywhere. He doesn't need shooters around him, like Russell Westbrook, John Wall, Chris Paul, other guards who need shooters around them. And this postseason proved it, bro. If y'all remember last year, Damian Lillard got embarrassed last uh, year in the playoffs by Drew Holiday. He locked him up, him and CJ. They got swept. Even though they were the favorites and they got the third seed in the West, they never got that before. So they was looking to at least get to Eastern Conference Finals, something like that. But they got embarrassed by Drew Holiday, Anthony Davis, and those boys over there in New Orleans. So what Damian Lillard does, he comes back, you know, doesn't say nothing, be humble. I mean, the playoffs start, Russell Westbrook talking to him, talking about he's been busting his ass for years, da-da-da. And Lillard, he went off, bro. He averaged 33 points a game, 46% from the field goal and 48% from the three-point line on Russell Westbrook ass and Paul George ass because Paul George was guarding him in that game where he had 50. I think he had 20 points on Westbrook, though. And y'all not going to believe this stat, bro. What's, or Dame Miller shot nine for nine from 30 feet and out. Nine for nine, essentially. And I think two shots was 29 feet. So basically, 11 for 11. From deep range that's curry range somebody said that Damian Lillard is a better deep three-point shooter than curry i don't think that's true but you can make an argument bro he can do it off the dribble he can do it off pick and roll he can do it anywhere so can curry but hey and i know everybody is talking about that game winner he had side stepping step back on six nine almost defensive player of the year paul george and his grill green light with the takeover on that's how deadly it was at home for the series clincher. If that's not clutch to you, I don't know what it is. And this, he did this before or five years ago against the Rockets. So Dame to me is the second best point guard in the NBA, and that's not going to change until something happens. If Kyrie goes to the finals and he, he does something great, spectacular, I'll give it Kyrie. But right now, it's Dame. It's not John Wall because he's injury prone right now. He's just got a ruptured Achilles, so he's not going to be that same player. Russell Westbrook, obviously not because he's got embarrassed by Dame Lillard. He's trash talking. He said, Dame Lillard, Dame said to Russ, why you not guard me? Why you let him guard me? And Russ was silent, bro. I never seen son, I never seen Russ get sun like that, bro. And Russ is known for his intensity and his ferocity. He just got sun by a cool yet humble Dame Lillard. And I think they're from the same city in Oakland or something like that. So, yeah, man. Dame Lillard is the second best point guard in the NBA. I hope the Trailblazers go to the uh, Western Conference Finals. And they face the Warriors so we can see Curry versus Dame. Because Curry is not having that good of a playoffs right now. And it's going against the Clippers, bro. The eighth seed. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have really... He, I know he has Patrick Beverly, But that's not really a head-to-head -head matchup that you tune in to watch. Just such, as, such as Dame Lillard and Russell Westbrook. So, yeah. I know it's recency bias, something like that. Blah, blah, blah. But, hey. It's, it's facts. You know? He came out balling. Especially considering how he played last year. He redeemed himself, bro. And he's humble about it. He's a great leader. Probably the best leader at the point guard position in the NBA. Think about it. He 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 is the Trailblazer. He's the best Trailblazer in history. Forget Clyde Drexler. Forget Terry Porter. Forget whoever played there. He's the best Trailblazer in NBA history. He's better than Brandon Roy. All that. Prime for prime. All that. He's better. I'm like, what, what dude do you know? What nigga do you know that can sidestep from 45 feet? I know I'm exaggerating, but 45 feet on a defensive player here in Paul George. And all net. Had his brother and sister running to him. That'd be all for this video, man. I'm just wanting some damn appreciation. Y'all got to recognize. But like the video. Subscribe. I just hit 200 subscribers. Thank y'all for the support. I'm out. Peace.